Okay, folks, I'm back again here at the trailer with another um, repair video or a little do-it-yourself video. Now, what happened, I'm not proud to say this, I'm a little ashamed, but you know what? I'm human. It happens to everyone. It happens to all of us. Uh, you know, even me. I, I don't profess to be any kind of an expert or anything like that. It happens, right? So... You know what, instead of me explaining it, I actually filmed the video the day it happened. So let me just uh, roll the video and you guys can watch and it'll explain everything. And then I'll show you, I'll come back here and I'll show you how to fix it. So like I always say, always be careful backing up or actually in this case, not even backing up, going forward. One of my stabilizer jacks here, as you can see, bit the dirt, literally bit the grass. I was uh, trying to back in, but I was pulling forward first and I guess I went too close to a ditch and uh, it went down the tires went down here and um, the lower end went too close to the ground and as you can see that's the damage it caught the grass or it caught the dirt and it yanked it over here it was actually pretty much worse I uh, tried to bend it back with my foot but it's beyond repair. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Always be careful. See, as you can see, it's, it's beyond repair because the um, threaded rod that's up in there is all bent. Yeah, it's beyond repair. So always be careful. This is, uh, you know, mistakes happen to anyone. Um, I'm definitely not immune to making mistakes and uh, not paying attention. And this is what happens. Uh, can only imagine how much uh, this must cost now to replace it i'm assuming you just take the bolts off here and here and then on the back here and as long as this bracket isn't bent which it looks like it might be bent a little bit but i can probably bend it back then it just replacing this is all it means so be careful so this was the damage right there as you can see got it caught there i guess because my tire I didn't pay attention and my tire went down into the pit there which is as you can see it's a good drop off i'm surprised this is the only damage i'm actually came out lucky i was trying to go up there i took the corner too tight i should have took the corner over here instead it went there i wasn't paying attention so okay so so that's it that's it in a nutshell that's what happened now it's uh i went online it's been a couple weeks later and i went online i found the replacement i did some measurements and stuff like that to make sure it was the right one and the right weight and took some pictures and stuff like that and i found which one it was which uh stabilizer jacket was and i went on amazon you know our good old friend amazon and you can find anything and i found it they only sell it in pairs though i only need one but they only sell it in pairs which i guess makes sense but if you're looking for one you can't just, I, I doubt very much you can get one, unless you go to a salvage shop or records or something like that, and maybe you can pick one up. But anyways, I got a, a pack of two and I'll show it to you right here. That is the box from Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. And I've got my tools and, um, and I'll show you how easy it is to replace this. So here's the culprit uh, once again, as you can see a few weeks later and uh, the grass is a little more dry on it, but I'm not even gonna bother taking the grass off. So what I realized in the original video, I thought maybe we just take these bolts off here and here. And uh, I think it goes out to that side. But instead what I realized is you have to actually take these. Let me see if I can get you under there. You have to actually take these off. And uh, the one I got comes with this whole L-shaped bracket. It's all one assembly piece and it goes right onto the frame it comes with uh, screws and everything it goes right onto the frame so let's do that put you down right here and uh, we will get started okay so let's uh undo these always make sure you have the right tools and be prepared i almost didn't and almost uh, had to go back to the house to get the proper tools so let's take this off it's gonna be loud we'll just fast forward through all this okay. It's a little tricky, you gotta push it. I have to push it with my foot so I could get the uh, drill in there to undo it. Okay, we'll quickly open up this. Not that this is gonna be an unboxing or anything, but just to see what it looks like inside. This kit comes with all the hardware, even a, a tool here. And these are some serious bolts that it comes with. A lot bigger than the bolts that uh, I have. So we may need to do some drilling. Let's see. Okay, it's undone. 
just take it off and as you can see this is the damaged part you can see how uh, really messed up that is but we will fix it so as we compare the old one to the new one this is obviously in case you don't know this is the old one that's the new one they're identical the uh, the uh, socket uh, fitting on the end to winch it up and down is the same the uh, bolt pattern is the same it didn't need to be but it happened to be the same well it looks a little bit different actually but um it should be fine because even if we have to tap new holes that's fine and the main thing is the length is the same and the uh footings as you, you can't see it here but the footing is the same so and oh, actually the most important thing is the weight rating the weight rating here is five thousand pounds uh doesn't say it there but if you turn it upside down here it says five thousand pounds so everything's the same so let's get at it okay so here we have it We've lined it up. It actually, the holes do line up, so that's a good thing. We can uh, start putting these uh, bolts back in. And uh, this may be hard with one, one hand and by myself, but I'll give it a, sh a shot here. Just gonna get a couple in. And then we can uh, probably let go of it after I get the initial two in. Yeah. Once we get those in, we can let go. Okay, and then from here, all we have to do is make sure it's snug, which it does. The only play is not in the bracket itself, but in the... Uh, in the unit itself. Okay, it's not going anywhere now. Now, get out of here as best you can. Okay, so here is the new unit installed. <laughs> as you can see, very, very simple to do. Use existing bolts. Um, it's not going anywhere, like I said. Uh, this is the play in this, not in the brackets. Just make sure the brackets are snug and you're fine. We can compare it with the other one. This one right here, this is the original one. And you can see there's play in this one too. Okay, the next thing to do is to see if it actually works and goes down. Put it on. Look at, look at that. Works like a charm. And because it's brand new, it's so smooth as butter. That's it. There you go, folks. That is how easy it is to change one of these. Hopefully you don't have to. I mean, this isn't something like the hot water tank where, you know, if you don't do anything, it could still go on you. This is something that if you're not careful, like me, um, and you don't pay attention, it can go. There's really no way of it going on its own. Unless I guess it rusts out, but I don't even know if it would do that. But that's how easy it is to replace, folks. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll uh, get to it. Uh, I'm no expert in this. I'm just doing this just as much as you can do it. Uh, I just researched it online and did it myself because I don't want to pay $130 an hour of labor for someone else to do it. Anyways, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can pick this up if you've got a similar trailer like this. But if not, do your research, find the right one, make sure you get the right one, and uh, it's that easy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.